And one of the dark sides is I can say I'm collaborating because my team meets every you know couple of days and, and it doesn't take us much. It's pretty quick. We're globally distributed. But if the if the meeting hierarchy, if the, if the meeting dynamics and the conversational dynamics and the the the, the sense around the table is all of, of one mind, I'm I'm basically taking a shortcut. I say I'm collaborating, but basically I'm going back to just make sure you, you all agree that I'm right about this. And you know, dysfunctional leadership is going to be dysfunctional no matter what technology or behaviors we introduce. Um, but you can say you feel social. You can be a CEO who blogs regularly and you get a lot of nice comments on your blog and you say, look, I'm interacting interacting with my workforce. And, and you know, the downside of that is if you're actually not acting on the feedback, you're not welcoming negative feedback, um, you are presenting yourself as interacting and people that know you're not interacting honestly are going to become even more um, disconnected and disengaged from the work. I mean, I love that, the, the finding, I, I love that you know, it's an academic sense. I love the finding that, that how many of us are disengaged from the work, disengaged from our employer. Um, I don't think we're disengaged from the work and I'm not familiar, I didn't, you know, I'm not in detail with the researchers here. I think we're disengaged with um, where our work is being done and who it's being done for and towards what end. So it's not that we're all just becoming lazier because we can have a much more comfortable lifestyle than, than anyone else in history before us. I really think it's that we, we would like to find work that matters. We would like to be engaged in a process where we believe the end to end thing. But because we're becoming more transparent, those Victorian structures we set up on how people should work are becoming more transparently ridiculous. And so the more workers can see, and then the more workers can see the transparency and the, and the, and the ridiculousness of the process and the frameworks and the incentives we have together, that are just give, of course, you, you, you feel more liberated to say, I, this is not where I live. My identity is being shifted. And my identity is now going to be with my family, or with my community group, or with my charity work, whatever I'm doing, because my identity cannot be with this ridiculous machine approach to my life and my value and what I write and what I do. So I, I don't feel connected to that because I don't think that's a long-term approach. And it doesn't make me feel like it's, it's a value it's a contribution. It's not a legacy I want to leave. So I'm going to shift my identity. And I think what's happening in that disengagement, it's funny that so the, the research said these workers disengaged from the work. My question is, where did that engagement go? Because we're still social creatures. We still are very much engaged. So it's not that we're just shutting down like zombies. It's that we've moved that engagement somewhere else. So where, where did it go? And how do we, you know, how do we, how do we understand that better?